Hi, everyone. This is Carolyn Elephant. I'm on the ABA Tech Show 2023 Planning Board. And with me today is Ashley Pepitone. She's one of our speakers. Ashley, can you introduce yourself to our listeners? Tell them a little about your practice and also the topics you'll be speaking on at Tech Show. Yeah, absolutely. My name is Ashley Pepitone. I am the owner of Pepitone Family Law in the Atlanta area. Um, I started my firm in 2021 and February of 2021. I've been exclusively flat fees ever since then. Uh, I never looked back. So I am presenting on how to start um, and use tech to start uh, a flat fee practice. And then my other topic is going to be um, humanizing your client experience with the use of technology. So I'm really excited. I've been to tech show, I think, while one year was COVID. This will be my fourth year in per fourth year in person, I think. Yeah. And uh first year I was on Startup Alley. So it's like full circle. I've done everything now almost except sat on the board. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll we'll recruit you for, for next year. We always need people, but I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. So I want to ask you a little bit about your topics. I mean, first about flat fees. Uh, you said you just started your firm back in 2021. And I was wondering, is a newer attorney, at least newer to law firm ownership, who's using flat fees, what are some of the misconceptions? What's one common misconception you hear from other attorneys who are new to flat fees? And how would you respond to that? So the most common that I hear is basically, um, what about runaway train litigation? Or you there's you can't possibly do it with contested litigation of any kind. And it's just not true. You just have to know how to do it right. Um, and we'll, we'll be getting into that. There's also a few different ways to structure flat fees, um, or probably many different ways that I haven't even heard of. But um, depending on how you structure your um, representation agreement and um, and how you bill, it can be very easy, very profitable, and um, and clients really love it because they know what to expect ahead of time. So, no runaway trains here. I actually bill by um, phase or event in the case. So, anytime anything happens, client just gets another invoice. They know ahead of time. They've signed the rep agreement, and they know. So, it's just it's not a thing. Um, that's one of the, the most common misconceptions. There's a couple more, but. Oh, good. So you said those are some of the things you'll be talking about in your presentation. Yeah, absolutely. Great. That'll be really helpful for people. And then I wanted to ask you also about your other presentation, um, using tech to humanize the client experience. It seems sort of like an oxymoron because when I think of tech, I think about, I think about robots actually and automation yeah. and a human not touching a file. So um, can you talk a little bit about how tech relates to humanizing the client experience? Yeah, absolutely. So like I mentioned, um, back in 2019, the first time I ever came to Tech Show and I was on Startup Alley, that was actually with an, uh, an app that um, had been developed by a couple of friends of mine. Um, and we all banded together and formed a company and launched this text messaging app that would allow attorneys to text message their clients without giving away their number. Um, and it had a, a few other features, but that was kind of my dipping my toe into the legal tech world. And it was all centered on the client experience and giving better client experience without giving away your phone number without giving away more of yourself. Um, and by putting up boundaries, firm and healthy boundaries, while still letting your clients feel like they're being well taken care of. And I think that's really what my passion is when it comes to legal tech is how do we utilize the tech to um, make our jobs easier without letting clients feel like they're just dealing with an automated machine. Um, because yeah, it can pretty much run and Regina will talk about that too. When we talk about flat fees, it can't, you can use tech to run your firm, like an automated machine. But when you're doing that, there are ways and there are tech products that you can use that will actually make your clients feel like they're getting more one-on-one -on -one white glove service when they don't realize that what you're doing is really, um, and not that they wouldn't even care, right? If you're getting the job done well and efficiently and they're happy, um, but you are, you're, you're more efficient, 
you can get the job done quicker and you can focus more on the customer service. And there are actually some really great products um, that are newer in the market that can help with making the, the experience client focused. Yeah, it's probably more rewarding for a lawyer too. I know that you know one of the things that I like best about working with individual clients as opposed to companies is that I get to explain things to them or learn about their background and the context of their legal problem. And it, it's just, it's a little bit of a more satisfying relationship. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. They feel, if, if they feel like you're really on their side, um, then you've got that there, there's no better advertising. Um, I really didn't have to advertise at all when I started my firm and it was all word of mouth. And I think it's because I, I do strive to make sure my clients feel taken care of, not just, um, you know, we always set expectations for the outcomes of their cases, but I think it's more important every step of the way to explain things and make sure that they feel informed and you can use tech to do that. No, that's great. So I actually wanted to ask you something that um, I didn't, we didn't talk about earlier, but just taking advantage of your experiences, having been part of a company that was on Startup Alley. I'm curious, you know, for this is really for some of the other companies that might be considering coming to Tech Show or sponsoring Tech Show. What kind of benefits or what as as a company that was attending Tech Show, what did you find to be the most valuable about the experience? Um, I really enjoy seeing what all is out there, what's new coming to market um, from other companies in the industry when I, when I was, when I did have the tech company. Um, that was so exciting, but it was also really great to get so much one-on-one -on -one attention with um, the consumers or the, the customers um, and feedback from them that I could then take back to my dev team and say, okay, how hard would it be to change this and add this and tweak this? It's just, you've got like a think tank there, like a giant swarming think tank when you're down, <laughs> down with the exhibitors. Yeah. And I think, again, that's also great from the attendees perspective, because I always tell people that, you know, it's, it's a buyer's market now. There's so much competition. So communicate to companies what kind of features you want them to add or what's important to you. So I think it works both ways. Yeah. It's a really nice symbiotic thing going on down there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so as the last question that I've asked to everybody I've talked to, uh, what are you most looking forward to about this year's tech show? I think, well, speaking of course, cause I've never gotten to do that before, but, um, I, I really do feel passionately about flat fees. So speaking about flat fees specifically, because there's so much, um, there is so much misconception about it. Um, and I think that we can make the industry much better for consumers and clients through the use of flat fees and through the use of technology. But aside from that, it's always such a great group of people. I always make new friends. I always am glad that I came um, and I'm a, a little bit exhausted <laughs> at the end, but it's just, it's my favorite conference of the year for sure. Yeah, that's great. Well, I am really looking forward to your presentation and to sitting in on all of the talks. And everybody, Tech Show is March 1st to 4th in Chicago, Illinois. If you register by January 18th, there's a $200 discount early bird special. And we hope to see all of you there. Ashley, thanks so much for doing this interview. And I can't wait to see you in about six or seven weeks. You soon. Yeah. Okay, thanks.